We take a look at Royal Caribbean and how they're handling the COVID-19 situation. From cruise suspensions, future cruise credits to refunds, and what changes you'll likely see on board. And we also take a look at where the ships are now. This is a must-see if you're planning on sailing with Royal Caribbean. Well, ahoy there, cruisers. I'm David. This is Ben. Together we are Cruise with Ben and David. Make sure you subscribe to our channel right now. We know most of you watching aren't subscribed, which is absolutely crazy. Go on, subscribe. We're watching you it's right now. Free. So let's take a look at the updated cancellations and cruise suspensions of Royal Caribbean so far. Well, the whole fleet is suspended until at least October 31st, 2020. And for Europe and transatlantic sailings, they are all cancelled till at least the end of November. For Australia and New Zealand, cruises were due to start in early October, but now they have been cancelled until at least November. And for the brand new beautiful Odyssey of the Seas, which was due to start cruising in November, this has been pushed back to April next year due to some shipyard delays caused by COVID-19. Now let's take a look at future cruise credits and refunds. If your cruise has been cancelled, you can choose between a future cruise credit or a refund. We do recommend though that if you can, you do take the future cruise credit as Royal are offering you 125% of your cruise fare back to you in future cruise credits. But do keep in mind though that the extra 25% credit will only be based on the actual cruise fare. So it doesn't include things like pork taxes, gratuities, or any packages you may have added on on top of your cruise, for example, a dining or a drinks package. Port taxes, gratuities and any of those packages you booked will be refunded back to you and will not be part of the future cruise credit. They'll automatically be refunded back to the method of payment. If you've only paid a portion of your cruise fare, you'll only receive the 125% of what you've paid so far. You'll only receive the full 125% of your cruise fare if it has been fully paid. But it is still a good reward and in some cases it'll let you book a better cabin or a longer cruise. Once you've accepted the future cruise credit, Royal Caribbean will send you a future cruise credit certificate and if you book direct with Royal this will be sent to the email address that you are booked with or if you booked through a travel agency it will be sent to your travel agent. At the moment it's taken a few weeks for Royal Caribbean to send out all the certificates. It can take up to 45 days after your cruise has been cancelled to receive it. If you choose a refund the money will be returned to you in about two weeks to your original form of payment or to your travel agent. And at the moment, Royal Caribbean are the fastest cruise line to provide refunds. Some other cruise lines are taking more than three or four months. So how do you use the future cruise credit? You can use it to pay off a complete cruise or towards any other cruise. The cruise needs to depart before April 30th, 2022. So you're gonna have plenty of time to use that credit. But you need to book this cruise by December the 31st, 2021, still leaving plenty of time. If you booked your cruise directly with Royal Caribbean, you can redeem your future cruise credit online or on the phone. When booking online, you have the option to add your future cruise certificate numbers on the payment page, so it's nice and easy. And if you booked with a travel agent, you just need to redeem it through them. If the cruise fare of your new booking exceeds the future cruise credit's value, you're going to have to pay the difference. But if the cruise is actually cheaper, you'll receive a brand new future cruise credit for the remaining balance. So you're not going to miss out on any money at all. And you can also use your future cruise credit on another future cruise if you already have one booked. You can put the credit onto that booking. It's really easy. Credits can't be used on any of the other Royal Caribbean family of brands such as Celebrity or Asmara. If you booked a Royal Caribbean cruise, you can only use the credit on a Royal Caribbean cruise. But if you are sailing with Celebrity or Azamara, this information that we're giving you in this video is exactly the same for them as well. For more information and for numbers and contact details, check out Royal Caribbean's website on how to get in contact with them. So next up, let's take a look at the Cruise with Confidence scheme. So what's this scheme? Well, it's there to give you extra confidence when booking a cruise with Royal Caribbean. It means basically you have the option to cancel your cruise up to 48 hours before it departs with no extra charges or anything like that. This is for all cruises departing up till April the 30th, 2022. And the credit can be used towards any cruise that set sail through December 31st, 2021 or 12 months past the sale date, whatever one is further along. 
But bear in mind, with the Cruise Reef Confidence Scheme, you can only claim a future cruise credit and not get a refund. Refunds are only given as an option if your cruise has been cancelled by Royal Caribbean. To cancel your cruise, it needs to be 48 hours before your cruise is due to sail. If you book direct with Royal Caribbean, you can fill in an online form on the website or you can call them to cancel. If you booked with your travel agent, you'll need to inform your travel agent. The Cruise with Confidence scheme also comes with two extra benefits. The first one is the best price guarantee. It means if you spot a better cruise price on your rebook cruise up to 40 hours before departure, you'll receive that price difference in the form of a non-refundable onboard credit. So if you do spot your cruise has gone down in price, make sure you give them a call and then you'll receive the difference in onboard credit. The second one is the lift and shift benefit. This basically means you can book the exact same cruise in the same cabin type for the same time next year. As we said, the cruise needs to be the same itinerary, length, stateroom, and everything like that. There'll be no price difference, so the cruise would ex cost exactly the same. They're not going to charge you any more. The cruise needs to be dated within four weeks, either before or after the original sailing, but a full year later. So this is great. So it means you can basically do exactly the same cruise in 2021 that you were going to do in 2020, and it's not going to cost you a penny in difference. So what are Royal Caribbean doing to get cruising started again? Well, they've set up the Healthy Sail Panel with rival cruise line Norwegian. This is comprised of a group of top experts. They include former heads of the CDC, governors, a former Secretary of Health, as well as doctors. These experts have been put together to help guide the cruise lines forward. They're planning to make their recommendations by the end of August. They will then submit these plans to the CDC and other regulators for approval to return to service. No plans have really been set in stone as of yet. Hopefully after the Healthy Sail panel make their recommendations this week, we'll see Royal put together a comprehensive return to cruise plan. But Royal Caribbean have gave us sneak peeks and ideas of what to expect. It includes starting off with fewer ships from fewer ports. Maybe we'll see some cruises set off just from Miami or from Europe. We don't know yet. Plus lots of changes on board. Some things we're bound to expect are a new virtual muster drill, which Royal Caribbean have already announced. So they won't be doing the big public muster drill anymore. It will all take place on your ship TV or your smartphone device. It'd be really easy. You'll also see things such as social distancing. Lower ship capacities at around 50% to begin with, enhanced cleaning on board, changes to the buffet with no more self-service, better medical facilities, and a COVID swab test on boarding. This is really expected. We really do expect many of the same things that MSC have put into place. So where are all Royal Caribbean's ships currently, or as some people have called them, the ghost ships? Yeah, what are they doing right now? Just floating around with no passengers on board. Know, crazy. Well, the ships are spread in three different parts of the world. Here are the ships that are docked in the waters of North America. And these are the ships that are docked in Europe. And finally, the ships that are in Asia. This is changing constantly, but it gives you an idea of what they are doing. The ships are either just floating off the coast and regularly visiting ports for change of crews and restocking of fuel or food. Most ships are operating with skeleton crews, meaning that the minimum crew possible for engineering, maintenance and ship navigation is on board. Royal have done a fantastic job in repatriating its crew, getting crew back home to all destinations around the world. So that's it for this video. We really hope you enjoyed it. Please let us know what you think in the comment section below. We love to hear from you and please consider subscribing. It really helps us out. And we've got so much fantastic content coming towards you and hit that bell button as well so you're notified when we upload a brand new video. And thanks to all our patrons. Thank you for supporting us. You can find out more about Patreon in the description section below. You get benefits such as behind the scenes photos, videos, as well as a podcast. The cruise captain of this week is Layla. So ahoy, ahoy there, Layla. That's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising.